Okay, let's do problem 18.12 from um, chapter 18. So the difference between this problem and, for example, the problem that we did previously, which was this one, is that in problem 18.10, the whole magnetic structure uh, was made of one magnetic material. But down here in problem 18.12, the magnetic material that they used is different from uh, some part of this magnetic structure. So from here, you can see that the magnetic structure is, uh, the magnetic material is steel, okay? So the only difference here is on their uh, relative permeabilities because the relative permeability of magnetic material um, are different from each other. So what can we do here? What do we need here, actually? They said that find the necessary current to establish this flux, okay? And then they gave us everything that we need. So the length of the iron, the length of the flux in the iron, so it's this part, the length of the flux in the steel, which is this part, and then the surface area for the whole magnetic structure, number of turns, and the two relative permeabilities that we need. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. We need to find I, right? So you need to be as comfortable as possible with these magnetic um, structure questions that, for example, here, they need I. So you may think, okay, how can I reach to I, right? So we know that actually phi, the flux, is equal to N I over R, right? And this would be R total for the whole circuit. So from here, I can easily find I. I is equal to phi reluctance, the total reluctance over number of turns. Why am I using this equation? Because in this equation, I need phi that I do have it available. I need R total, which I can find it from this circuit. And I need the number of turns that I have, right? So let's go ahead and find what we need. We have phi, we have n, we only need to find R total. Now, R total here consists of the reluctance of the cast iron and the reluctance of the cast steel. So this is the reluctance of, I mean, let me write it here, that R total is reluctance of the cast steel plus reluctance of the cast iron. Okay, so I need to find each of these. Uh, you don't need to draw the magnetic equivalent circuit here. They didn't ask it in this question, but if you want to do it just for uh, practice. So we have an MMF in the leftmost part of this magnet. What is the uh, direction of this MMF? So again, the current is going from the top part of this uh, magnet. So the wire is going from top. So I can put my four fingers palm down to the uh, in, in the right direction and then my thumb is pointing to the direction of the uh, MMF. So direction of the flux technically. So this would be my MMF. Then I will have a reluctance of the cast iron and the reluctance of the steel. That's all that you need. This is a series uh, magnetic equivalent circuit. So I have R cast iron and R of cast steel. Okay, this is the magnetic equivalent circuit for this structure. All right, so let's go ahead and find each of these reluctances. So the reluctance of the cast steel is the length of the cast steel over mu r mu zero a of the cast steel so l of the cast steel is 0 0.3 meter over mu r of the cast steel is thousand multiplied by mu of the air which is 4 pi 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by the um, surface area, which is 5 
multiply by 10 to the negative 4 meter squared. Okay, so this turns out to be 4.77 multiplied by 10 to the 5. Now, another way to write the unit for anything that you are finding, I told you that R, the reluctance in SI, so in SI system, the unit of R is inverse Henry. Okay? Now, let's look at the equation that I wrote over here. Okay? Let's just take R out. I mean, I want to put R in the left side of the equation and then take the rest of it to the right. So that is Ni over phi. Right? Let's write the unit of R with respect to this equation. What is the unit? It is turns amp per Weber, okay? Which is also a unit of a reluctance. Now, let's go down here to find the other reluctance that we need, which is the reluctance of the cast iron, and that is the length of the cast iron over the relative perm permeability of this multiplied by mu zero, A of the cast iron. So that would be equal to the length of the cast iron is 0 0.3 meter. 0 0.3 over mu r is 5195. 5195 multiplied by 4 pi 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by the surface area which is 5 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4 meters square actually we don't need to put this meter square over here all right so this reluctance turns out to be 9.19 multiplied by 10 to the 4 turns amp over Weber okay now, let's go up here. Let's look at the permeabilities, the relative permeabilities, before moving on to the next part of the question. The relative permeability of steel is 1,000. The relative permeability of iron is 5195, okay? In this um, case, we will say that the steel is less permeable than the iron which is obviously because the relative permeability is less, but in magnetic material, the more the permeability, the better the magnetic material, okay? So here, the iron is better than a steel. It's a better magnetic material than a steel, okay? All right, let's go back. So I need to find our total, and we know that our here in the magnetic equivalent circuit, we saw that these two reluctances are in series with each other. So I can say RCS plus RCI, and that would be 5.69 multiplied by 10 to the 5 amp turns per Weber. Okay, now I want to find the current. So we found out that the current is equal to the phi that we had multiplied by total um, reluctance over the number of turns. So the flux is given in the question. It was 3 multiplied by 10 to the 4 Weber. I'm going to write the unit so you will see how, why I actually wrote the unit of reluctance this time as turns amp per Weber, okay? R is um, 5.69 multiplied by 10 to the 5 amp turns per Weber over N, which is 100 turns so 
look at the units here. Weber will be cancelled with Weber. Turns will be cancelled with turns. We're going to left with amp, which is correct because we're looking for the current. So this will turn out to be 1.71 amps. Okay. So make sure that you're comfortable with the equations that we have in the magnetic, um, actually this is in this electro, um, electromechanics chapter, which is chapter 18. Okay, the ones that I covered in the lecture. All right? Okay, so I'm going to finish this video and we're going to do another problem in another video.